Believe it or not, South Africa is celebrating its 30th year of our constitutional democracy. And that's why we had a conference to reflect on the past, where do we come from, on what is happening at this point in time, and then a reflection on the future. And today we had three speakers of caliber, Trevor Manuel, the public protector, as well as the mayor of Cape Town. Essentially, we've got to build on an incredibly strong constitution, but it does mean that we have to create opportunities to discuss and renew from time to time. That's the big message. You see, because if we don't deal with these issues adequately, if we don't embed the experiences adequately, the risk is always that history may repeat itself in strange ways. I stand here just reflecting where I was on the 2nd of February 1990. Most critically really the reflections were based on the blueprint of our constitutional democracy which is the most progressive uh, document in the world which is South Africa's constitution which actually paved the way for us to be where we are. The way that we are going to build the future is by setting a clear sense of national ambition that refuses to, be, to accept or believe that uh, our country can only decline. Let it never be said of South Africa that we have a great future behind us. I refuse to believe that. And I refuse to accept that our country is stuck forever in reverse gear. I think it's really inspiring to hear from people who have done a lot to change our country um, and also very interesting as a young person just to like often read about politics and kind of law and our country in the news but to actually hear it from people who have been there and done these things is really cool. Great mixture, great amalgamation of different people coming together here today to speak of the past, the present and the future and great points were made all in all. Uh, for me it's very eye-opening as a, as a young person, you know, in today's world where I think the young people are the future obviously and when Jordan Hills Lewis is speaking about the future of, of our country and our city, I think it's important for, for our students to go and to be able to come to an event like this and to be able to witness what these people who are very distinguished guests uh, are able to speak about and what we can learn from that and take it forward. I would like to say something that FW said at the conference in 2015. If I had been woken early on the morning of the 2nd of February 90 and would have seen what South Africa would look like 25 years later, with all its threats and shortcomings, I should still embrace that future with both hands and without any reservation.